Hello. So you're driving along and the baby starts to cry. It's horrible, but you can't look back and you can't help when you're driving by yourself. It all begins with safety. You have to have car seat safety in every vehicle with every infant. There's many different types of car seats. You have a three-in-one car seat, a convertible car seat, a booster seat, and then the rear only, rear facing only infant seat. Today we're going to talk about improperly installed car seats, how to install them properly, and how to make sure the baby is safe. The leading, the leading cause of death in children is unintentional injuries. You can get those by putting your baby in the car seat improperly, installing either the base or the car seat improperly, and a hundred other different things. Most of the um, unintentional injury come from car crashes. That was our first point found from Kids Health. My second point is improper installation. Every piece fits perfectly. You hear little clicks, and that means that it's right. It's not going to come off. And there's a little lever, and it just lifts away. There's two ways to install the base itself. There's latches, which are hidden under this piece. This piece comes up and down and sets your angle. And then the last thing is you can just slip the seat belt in underneath of these two black pieces, which is the easiest way to install it, I think. That's how I have it in my car. And then you just lock the seat belt like you would when you're playing with it as a child. This easily explained sets in the base. Without the base, there's also little seat belt notches right here. That you slip the seat belt underneath and lock it. If you install it properly at the wrong angle, it could cause for their head to drop. Um, also, when you like impact with another car for an accident, it's gonna move their head, or they could be sitting too far back. Three and four car seats are installed improperly in vehicles. That is from Baby Center. And last but not least, there are different ways to install different car seats. I only have this option, but the, and there's things set for car seats such as weight limits and heights. Um, this one says, Child's weight is 5 to 30 pounds, and child's height is 30 inches or less. So after they outgrow this car seat, you have to move up to a different car seat. Next would be the convertible car seat, which also can be rear-facing because children are supposed to be rear-facing up to two years old. After two years, they have become frontward-facing, forward-facing, and it's the car seat sits up more like this because the child is more is able to sit up better on their own. And then also you have a three-in-one which has the rear facing, the forward facing, and the booster seat. The booster seat is just a seat underneath to make them taller so that the seat belt in the car is properly at the right spot for what it would be at an adult. And then you can buy just plain booster seats. Um, those are usually set for children that are four foot nine inches approximately no less than that um, ages five to twelve years old um, depending on the how tall and big they are every child is different so it just depends you never know exactly when you're going to be able to move your child up a car seat um, you definitely don't want to do it too soon because then your child is too small sitting in a car seat that's not the right it's that's still installing improperly. And last, we're going to put the baby in the car seat. Most car seats have a five-point harness. 
here, here, and then in between the legs. There's a part that buckles right here at the breast line. And then this piece clips together and clips in between their legs. You don't want these top straps any higher than their shoulders. You want it at or below their shoulders. You just want to slip their arm in one side. Slip their arm in the other side. And these straps loosen and become tighter, just depending on where your child needs them to be. There's just a little button underneath of this flap that I would press and then pull on the straps. You have to listen for the clicks and make sure that they're in there tightly. And then we're going to talk about accessories. Everybody wants to put these cute little things in their car seats to entertain their children while they're driving to make noises so they're not crying. These sit on their shoulder pads so they doesn't rub, the seatbelt doesn't rub against their necks. And then car seat covers for when it's really cold outside. There are some car seat covers that are not crash tested. And some parents make the mistake in buying them without paying attention to what they're putting in their child's car seats. And that's how to properly install a car seat. Thank you.